Okay, we're not going to waste time on intros. We're going to get right to this. This is a stasis hunter build, mainly focused around getting your super really quickly, getting your abilities really quickly, and chain stunning overload champions. Mainly comes from these two mods, Resonance Siphon and Thermoclastic Strike. Resonance Siphon um, will give you stasis ability energy when you stun a member, or when you stun a champion. Sorry, not stun a member if you're fire team. And Thermoclastic Strike allows you to stun Overload Champions. Now, for some weird reason, if you stun a champ, well, if you throw a Dust Field Grenade and then stun a champion with a Shuriken, or really anything else, um, you will get two Shurikens back and you'll get half your grenade back. Um, this allows you to throw an infinite number of Shurikens at said champion, stun locking them and freezing them and getting your abilities back really quickly. Um, I'm pretty sure you can see why this is good. Um, so those two mods are basically essential to this build. Without it, it doesn't really matter, right? This is basically the identity of the build. And obviously I've taken charge on this. Um, yeah, that's just very important. Over here, I have Linear Fusion Rifle Scavenger and Powerful Friends. Uh, this can be whatever you want. These two pieces of armor really are the least uh, useful. Um, I have Radiant Light on this one just to help my allies, but it really doesn't matter what you run on these. Um, there are maybe some mods I don't know about that would work better. Uh, I'm sure there are due to the fact that, you know, I'm not really using them for anything. Um, if you find one of those, that'd be helpful. But, uh, yeah, those two don't are kind of just whatever you want to run. And then I'm running Aeon Swifts, provides um, uh, ammo for your teammates. Not really useful, or it doesn't really affect this build, so you don't have to run it. What we're running is Thermoclassic Blooming, defeating a combatant with the Solar Stasis melee creates an orb of power. Obviously, as I said, you get your uh, abilities back really quickly with this build. And we'll see a little more um, up there. Um, so getting your orbit power obviously will make you charge with light and it will make you, you get your super. Um, additionally we have unstoppable pulse rifle. Um, you could run unstoppable fusion rifle but you'd sacrifice the next thing which is energy converter. Uh, while it charges light using your grenade uh, grants super energy consuming all stacks of charge with light. Um, this goes up to a maximum of 50%. I believe it's 10% per stack of charge with light. Um, so you could go with a, um, what's it called? Not Superstructure Medic on this one. If you had a, a solar, you can run Supercharged. You have two additional stacks of charge with light, which would give you a lot of your super, um, which is very useful. Again, getting your super back, chaining with that. And then up here, we have Protective Light, and I'm opting to run rocket launcher scavengers, but what I was also running is double hands-on So gain super energy on melee kills um, Again You get your abilities back up really quickly. So then you when you get uh, super or when you get melee kills you get orbs of light and you get super energy just by itself so that that uh, synchronizes very well with the rest of it and obviously they stun so it's good to have them up at all times Next up, obviously, it's going to be Revenant. Um, as I said, this is Stacey Melee Built. So it's like the only thing that works. Um, we have Gambler's Dodge. You get your melee back. You could run Marksman Dodge, but it is nice to have that ability to basically have three at all times because you're not really using your dodge that too much. Um, next, we have Dust Field Grenade. Um, it's just really good, especially with the Touch of Winter. As I said, you need to... Um, what was it? You need to put down, or at least... To what I've seen to chain stun them you need to put or to chain stun effectively you need to put down a dust to a grenade onto the overloads um, to get the chain stun in and so with the dust field grenade obviously that's easier than having a glacier grenade, which is hard to freeze someone and then a cold snap grenade which doesn't freeze for as long additionally I'm running touch of winter which creates a larger field um, unfortunately that also puts a stasis crystal in the middle of it which you have to shoot around or break, which is unfortunate, but it doesn't really matter. And then I also have Grim Harvest. Defeating slow to frozen enemies gives you stasis shards. This is melee energy. Melee gives you orb of light and super. Also stuns, so just important to keep getting that stuff. You could change this one, 
with Winter Shroud. I did that for a while, but it has only one fragment slot, so this one's two, and I found this one slightly more useful. Now the fragments, these are pretty obvious. We have Whisper of Conduction, the Station Shard to track. It doesn't seem very helpful, but actually comes in use in a lot of situations. Whisper of Rhyme, Station Shard grants Overshield. Obviously in a GM, you're gonna want health if you get attacked by a hobgoblin, especially in the strike, there's a lot of hobgoblins you can get shot by, so you're going to want an overshield. A whisper endurance, slow frame abilities last longer. Again, this allows you to chain stun longer. This allows you to lock down areas longer, even after your super, even after your dust field, even after you've already thrown your withering blade. It's just helpful for that. Uh, next is whisper of refraction, defeating slowed or frozen targets grants you class ability energy. Again, the class ability gives you your melee. Um, when you dodge, which again, really just builds into everything else. And then last we have Whisper Torment, you gain grenade energy every time you take damage. I think this is the least strong fragment on here. Um, you could run this, but you don't often freeze the targets. Um, so it really depends what you want to run. Uh, and I, you could do that one as well. Um, any of these really work. I mean, these all really fit in. But I think the most important ones to have here are Whisper Endurance and Whisper of Conduction. And then uh, Whisper of Refraction is pretty good as well. That's basically it. Um, you don't need to run any weapon or any specific weapons. Um, I'm running a Pulse Rifle and a Sniper and then Yalahorn. But you could run a bow. Actually, you don't need to run a bow because of, you know, overload. But you could run Vex. You could run any exotic you wanted, really. So that's basically it. Um, I'm gonna show a couple of highlight clips and I'm gonna show a full Nightfall run just so you get an idea of it. Um, I'll, spe I'll speed up through the boring bits, but I'll show you. So uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, I hope you enjoy and have fun.
explain how organized they 